How do I use saline in a nebulizer? It's normally pretty easy to use saline in a nebulizer. Though to get started, you will want to be sure to read the instructions that came with the device so that you know what you are dealing with. Taking a few steps to ensure the right solution proportions and volume can be helpful too. Most nebulizers can be used with saline or inhaled medications, often interchangeably. Saline is a good option for people who want to try something natural or who want a break from their medication for a while without losing the benefits of a clearer airway. In most cases, you use saline the same way you'd use a medication, which is to say that you pour it into the device's fluid receptacle and wait for the vapor. You can buy prepared solution or make your own, and it's important to thoroughly clean the machine after each use to prevent buildup. Identify your nebulizer. A nebulizer is a device that changes a liquid solution into a vapor or mist for inhalation. And there are usually two varieties, the compressor type and the ultrasonic type. The ultrasonic type is generally faster and more efficient since it has no air compressor. This also makes it much quieter when it is running, though it tends to be more expensive too. The two varieties take liquid in similar ways, though they have nuanced differences when it comes to how much to use, as well as how and where to put it. In either scenario, you will typically use saline the same way you'd use a liquid medication. Taking a look at the instructions that came with your particular model is usually the best place to start. Manufacturers usually give guidelines when it comes to how the liquid should be used and any precautions that you need to take. If you can't find your instruction booklet, you may be able to find a copy online. Your doctor or health provider may also be able to help. Prepare the solution once you've identified the specifics of your device. It's time to get the saline ready. Saline solution can be purchased in many pharmacies and health food stores, but many people prefer to make their own. It is easy to do by mixing 1 teaspoon, about 5 ml, of ordinary table salt or sea salt with 1 quart, about 1 l, of distilled water. Regular tap water is often a fine substitute if distilled water is not available, though this depends to a certain extent on its cleanliness. Check volume and placement accuracy. Next, you'll want to actually pour the solution into the machine making sure that you've used neither too little nor too much. The nebulizer will probably have a cap in which to put the liquid and you'll pour it in the same way you would a prescription drug. In most cases, there will also be a tube that runs from the solution chamber to the mouthpiece or mask. And you should be sure that it is connected properly and securely since this is how the saline mist will make it to your throat and lungs. The use of saline in a nebulizer is well regarded as a safe and effective way to treat breathing difficulties. Many people also like it because it doesn't usually have the side effects associated with prescription medications. Saline can easily be inhaled through the device's mask or mouthpiece and it goes straight to the lungs, where it breaks up mucus so that the mucus can be coughed up. It moistens the nasal cavity to and relieves excessive coughing. In most cases, it's the moisture that provides the most immediate relief, even with only saline and no medicine. Regular maintenance and cleaning while getting relief is the most important goal. It's important to clean and maintain the machine between uses to make sure it will continue operating properly. In most cases, your nebulizer will have to be cleaned and dried well after every use. Using only saline will make this work easier, but doesn't usually eliminate it. Medicines can be sticky, but salts can build up as deposits over time.